All right, guys, this is it. The final showdown with Bowser. Finally made it all the way to the end of Bowser, the Valley of Bowser, and now we're at the front door of Bowser's castle. Bowser, let's go. So there's one interesting thing about Bowser's castle, and is that this place has many different branching ways to go. And I'm gonna show you all of them right now. In this first room, there are four different paths that you can choose to take. So I'm gonna use a little movie magic here and I'm gonna show you all those different paths in a row. Let's go in door one first. All right, so door one, lava and crushers. Good old lava and crushers with fireballs. Of course, of course, just don't get crushed and everything will be cool. Whoa. Watch out for that stuff. All right. So that was door number one. Now I'll meet you at door number two. All right, door number two. Let's see what's in here. In door number two, we got a chain mesh over spikes. Bop some Koopas. Watch out for the fireballs. I probably should have mentioned this a long time ago, but if you bop these uh, panels right here, you flip around to the reverse side. And there you go. And that's room number two. No big deal. Now we'll check out room number three over here. Room number three has these wind up toy looking looking dudes. Oh, and you can't keep them, or you can't keep them easily. Maybe I just suck. I don't know how to describe all this stuff. It's like these diamond pattern, I don't even know. Hey, there's one up over there. That's pretty cool. I wonder what else is hidden in this area here. Just make sure you bop these guys and keep going. Kinda trying to kind of stay up top here. Notice that you can carry these things. You can kind of carry them around like blocks, you know? And you can also spin jump them to get rid of them totally, so that's cool. Ah, there's a feather right there, that's nice. Whoa. Get out of here, Mecha Koopas. Alrighty, and that's room three. Room number four, let's go. Oh, uh, this reminds me of that, uh, Wendy's castle, kinda. This actually is a little challenging here. Can we get through this? Whew! Alright, duck under that. Try to land all your jumps. Can I get up there? I don't know how you get up to that. How do you, how do you get up to that? That one up up there. Interesting. Watch out for the little sparkies. And there we go. That was room number four. Alright, now let's do room number five over here. Whoa! Crushers and thwomps. Whoa! Dang! Okay, we're back. Room number five again. This time, you just gotta run it, man. And you gotta watch out for the timing of these crushers. So once they're down, you just gotta run fast. Go! Go, 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 go! Run, Mario! Whoa! Woo! All right. And now we're in this dark area. I'll meet you back at room six. All right, six. let's see what room six has in store for us. Ooh, underwater. I don't like it already. That's great. This guy's throwing bones at you. Lovely. You got spike moving walls underwater. This room is actually pretty hard if I remember. That's great. Don't touch that guy. I think you can duck under that bone. Yes, you can. Cool. Is this a power up? Not too many power ups in this area, so I'll take it. All right. So I'm going to go up right here. Try to hover between all the spikes and the water. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Please stop coming. There you go. That turns back, right? Let's go up here. Dodge all the spiky balls of death. I'm gonna chill out right here for a little bit while we wait for that thing up there. Yeah, see, you can go right through these, uh, the chain parts of these ball and chains. No big deal. No big deal. Although that noise of me bumping my head against the ceiling is a little annoying. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Walk it off, Mario. Walk it off, Mario. Woo. We got it. And that takes you also to the dark right, path number seven. What's in here? Uh, bunch of fire-breathing Bowser statues, it looks like. That's no good. Whoa. That one can jump, holy cow. And it is gold. Holy shoot. Get out of here. 
And the final door, door number eight. What's in here? Football players. Why? Why, football player? Give me that. Give me that feather. Shoot! All right, try this again. Door number eight. I don't like you, footballs. I don't like you at all. Could you not? Football players. All right, I'm just gonna kill you guys. I'm gonna just kill you guys. Come on, bring it. Pop over here. One, two, three. Well, oh! Football players. Oh my gosh. Three, four, five. Get out of here. I hate you, football. These things are actually called charging chucks, by the way. I just call them football because they look like football. Fuck! This door is kicking my ass. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Get out of here, football. Yeah, this room's full of charging chucks, by the way. And it's kind of annoying, especially without power -ups. Charging chucks. Okay. Football players. This room is full of football players. And I have no power ups. This is probably the hardest room to do without power ups. Just gotta bop them and get them, get them out of here. Just get out of here, football. Will you guys stay over there? You play nice. Die, footballs. Uh oh. Uh, run, run Mario, run Mario. No, I will get through this room eventually. Oh my gosh, it never ends. Come on, yeah, woo. All right, and we're finally in this dark area. Let's go, for real this time. See a little switch here. If you turn that on, hey, you get a light. Or you can turn it back off. I'll turn it on though. I, there's no reason not to. These things are called uh, ninjas, I think. They're kind of pointless enemies, really. They're, they're fairly easy. They're fairly easy to dodge and get rid of. Kill these guys. I don't. Yeah, you can't cape these. Look at that. It just won't let you. It's weird. Interesting. And there we go. Whoosh. Aha, and here we are. The final door in the game. The final boss door in the game. And you probably can guess who's behind this door. But we're not gonna do this door right now. So I'm gonna meet you back outside and uh, I'll explain some things to you. One sec. Okay, up to this point in the game, if we go back to our title screen and look at the number of exits I've gotten, I've actually gotten 88 exits, okay? And the only stage left to do is Bowser's Castle, right? But, there's 96 exits in Super Mario World. And now I'm gonna show you where the rest of them are, and I've been putting it off until now. Yeah, this place. Remember this, a long time ago? The middle of Star Road? You had to get the secret in that Star Road 5? Let's go in there now and see what's up. Whoa! Special? I like that music, dude. I think that's the Super Famicom uh, logo up there at the top, too. So this section, I'm just gonna do unedited and you're gonna see however many times I die. So uh, let's see what happens, dude. Gnarly. I swear I get a lot of my lingo from this. What does this say? Amazing, if you've made it this far, beyond lies the special zone. Complete it and you can explore a strange new world. I'm always up for more exploring. I'm always up for more of that type of thing. I like that. These things have vines in them. Let's see what's up here. Oh. We got a Yoshi coin. Keep climbing. What's this block got? Yeah, another vine. I don't think these stages are, by the way, they're pretty difficult. <laughs> That's why I've mostly saved them for last, you know. Kind of makes sense. Do a little order of progression type stuff going on here. Can I get that? Yes, I can. Woo. I'll take power-ups at this point. You know I will. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Man, it's hard to get all the Yoshi coins in this level. Get out of here, dude. I'll take that blue shell with me, though. Yes, I will. Oh, yeah. There's that, that, that's an outlet pipe. I forget how to get to that. All right. I'm going to run this. Run, run, run. Run, Mario. Uh, I'm gonna reset that just so I don't run out. Hey! Oh, why? Okay. Anyway. 
tricky little stage there. That Lakitu will throw silver coins if you have the silver P-switch pressed, so you can get a one-up doing that if you're quick. Uh, the blue P-switches are just for those blocks. And that was gnarly. Gnarly. Tubular. Man, I love this early 90s lingo. It's great. Tubular. This stage is kind of notoriously difficult. Let's see if I can do it on my first try. I'll try. It's been a long time. All right, so this block has a P balloon in it that you gotta get. You gotta get it and you gotta go. You gotta go quick. And you also, fuck! You gotta dodge all the charging chucks throwing baseballs at you. So I didn't get it my first try. Gotta avoid getting that low. You don't wanna get that low from grabbing the balloon because You'll be right in that guy's way and he'll kill you. All right, stay up in the air here. What you gotta do is you gotta keep moving and you gotta look for that next balloon, which I think is this one, okay? Drag that out and get over here. Whoa. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep going. Fudge, this is tight. Oh, shoot! Whoa! Go, go, go! Go, Mario, this is a good run already. That football nearly killed me. I can't believe I st I bopped it in midair. Woohoo! And that's tubular. Second try, not bad. There's three balloons you gotta get, I think, and those those spots that I showed you, you just gotta kinda you go early up high, you go early, you go early up high, <laughs> and then you kinda hang down lower, sort of in the later sections. So I gotta say.